Hello and welcome back to Thorncraft. Hello, hello. Welcome back. This is my uh, my wizard's tower. We have uh, Ben here and uh, and Benny, of course, and Bill and uh, and Billy. We've also got Steve and Dorful. That's our little golems there. And I've made some more golems actually and put them downstairs in a little area I like to call the dungeon. Yes, the dungeon of doom. And uh, if we go down these stairs, we can see the dungeon. It's just down here. It's a dungeon tower. You know, no biggie. We can have a look at it. Uh, hard to see from up here, but it's a big tower. And inside is uh, the dungeon. Let's have a look at what we've done. There we go. And at the moment, we've got, uh, we've got two... Um, golems of wheels that I've made. They pick things up and put them in this chest. And we've also got two golems, uh, like Dorfel up there, but rather than claw hands, they've got shooty hands. They've got dart launchers. And they will shoot anything that comes near them and kill it. Now, um, they can die, which is why I gave them dart hands, because it means that stuff is finds it harder to get to them, so they don't, like, get into a scrap. They just shoot it away. And I've got here a mob spawner that I found in a dungeon and picked up with a cardboard box. If I just take the box off, there we go, got a zombie spawner. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. And um, what we can do is just take this torch away and it should start spawning zombies. And these guys will kill them, I can't really see. And then these guys will pick the things up that they drop and put it in this chest. Wait for a zombie to spawn. There we go, there's some zombies there. Oh, they've gone for me. It's fine there, look, these guys are shooting them. And eventually they'll die. It's a little while. And these guys pick the things up. Throw them in that chest. Are you going to help me out with this guy here? Yep. There we go. Hey! So we've got the, uh, the, the guard seal and the collect seal here. And we've got the store seal on this chest. Now, I need to find a way to get this stuff that they, they pick up and drop in this chest up to the big chest upstairs so it connects it to the, uh, the current system. Just leave these guys to it. They can, they can continue doing that all day, hopefully, unless they die. <laughs> Which won't be good. But I think two of them seems to be enough to handle the, um, the zombies that come out of that one spawner. So it should, it's not too bad. Now, I want to find a way to transfer items from down there to up here. And I don't really want to have a big pipe trans transporting them because that would look pretty ugly for my wizard's tower. What was that noise? Did a creeper spawn? That would have been pretty disastrous. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it blew up the chest! How did a creeper spawn? That's not cool! <laughs> God damn it. All the golems are still alive though, which is good. How I can stop that from happening? Hmm. It's not ideal. We may need more of them to kill the uh, to kill the creeper faster. I don't feel like that's possible though. It takes so long to kill something. It's gonna go off. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Um, well, we need a new chest now to replace this one. But actually, I'm not gonna do another chest. I'm gonna do something something different. I'll just leave them going down there. They'll they'll look after themselves for a while. And we don't need the stuff that spawns instantly. Um, so let's have a look at... The, I've got the seal as well, the store seal. Let's have a look at the book under Artifice. There's some new things in Artifice that I want to look at. And uh, one of them is called... I've got the Arcane Lamp. Maybe that would be good to build down there. Turn it on and off. Stop stuff from spawning. Hmm, maybe not. Anyway, there's a the thing called a Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Um, now, one such use of the magic mirror is ability to link physical locations via mirrors and the use of sympathetic magic. There we go. So it's, I think it's a way to transport items from one place to another, which is very handy. Uh, so we need some mirrored glass and ender pearl. We've got the rest of the things. An ender pearl we probably have. Let's just ask our little butlers. Uh, ender pearl guys, got one? Yeah, there we go. One ender pearl. Bring it to me. Thank you. Uh, I heard your feedback, guys. Apparently, the reason why they were dropping things on the ground is because I was pointing at the ground. 
and it takes it to the place you pointed at. And if you point at nothing, it goes to you. So if I want to say, uh, I guess it will work for chests as well. So just say I wanted to put something in this chest. I could shift right click on this chest and say I want to put a uh, uh, aluminium brass ingot in that chest. I can request that. And hopefully he should just bring it and put it in this chest. Which is kind of handy. Uh, especially for this because he like use it for golden parts. Let's just have a look. Yeah, there we go. And there we go, it's in there. Fantastic. Wow, there we go. Um, okay, so what I need next is the mirrored glass. Now that is made with a... Um, looks like any, any pane of glass. Uh, and a quicksilver, which is made from cinnabar, I think. Let's see if we've got either of those things. Cinnabar. Yep. Grab one of those. Uh, let's grab two. And got the ender pearl already. Are you going to get me one? Guys? Interesting. Which one of you is being lazy? There we go. Man, that was hard work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, so let's uh, just use this furnace to smelt up this cinnabar. Need some coal, of course. Let's grab a bunch. Bring me coal! Thank you, sir. You're a good, you're the good golem. You're the one that's doing all the work here, Billy. Right, in we go with the coal, and we should be getting a bit of quicksilver now. We'll probably need another, another magic mirror, so let's get some more quicksilver. And now we can make our first mirrored glass uh, with a pane of glass. Can you get a pane of glass? Go, my pretties. Fetch me a pain. Oh, come on, dudes. What's going on today? I have to find it myself? I can't because I can't search that chest. It's the only way to get stuff out of it. <laughs> it's still too much stuff in. Thank you. Right. Now, the recipe is um, going to be in this thing. And it's... It uses... What does it use? It uses an auto and an aqua, and 50v. And we need the quicksilver and the pane of glass. That makes us a mirrored glass. There we go, done. Now we can complete the research. ba -da! Right, mirror magic. I am now able to enchant a pair of magical mirrors that act as doorways to the void between worlds. Anything shoved or piped through one mirror will pass through this strange realm and emerge uh, from the other mirror, even a cross-dimensional boundary is very useful. It's kind of like an ender chest, I guess. It's very hostile, so uh, to more creatures like myself. So using this mirror to transport living creatures is not yet possible. Okay, that's fine. Um, they can only be linked in pairs, and uh, you can pair them up once you put them down. Transporting items through mirrors places stress on the magical aura. Every now and again, this causes flux. Eh, we got loads of flux. No worries up there. Okay, so there's no actual graphic for Magic Mirror, which is a bit weird. Uh, but we need three gold, a mirrored glass, and an ender pearl. And some tenebrae, some permutatio, and some motus. And it's an arcane infusion. Right. So we're going to need a couple of these. So we want a couple of mirrored glass. And we've already used up one there. So here we go, two more. And this, this cinnabar should be cooked up by now. It's a quicksilver. Hopefully there's enough feasts. It looks like there is. Good. There's two mirrored glass. Now we want some gold. Gold, please. So we need like six gold. And we got the ender pearls already. Good. Bring me the gold, sir. Thank you very much. Cheers. All right. Let's see if what we can do. Okay. So here's the ritual set up. We've got the three gold. The Ender Pearl and the Magic Mirror. And uh, hopefully it should be stable. We've got uh, the three things we need up there. We've got a couple of stabilizers that are powered and they're pointing at it. I hope that that works. But we'll see. Um, 
It's just... Not again. <laughs> Not again! Golems? Are you okay? Just gonna check on my dudes. There's a problem here, and I'm not sure how to solve it. Uh... Oh no! Whoa! Uh, we've lost to one of the little little clay dudes, and we looks like we've lost. No, we haven't lost anything else. Okay, need to work out how to stop that from happening. Hmm. Stop creepers from spawning. It's probably something I can do to stop creepers from exploding. I'll have to look into that. It's going to pick up the bits um, left here. And let's just light up this place for now. So it doesn't happen again. Hopefully. Goodness. Well, not quite sure what to do about that. Um... We'll figure it out another time. Let's keep going on this ritual for now. <laughs> Let's set this ritual going and see what happens. Uh, do I need to use the fist? Yes. It's unstable. That's really annoying. But the stabilizers don't seem to be doing much. They do have the stabilizers. You'd think you'd be able to see, like, stable beams shooting out. It's only unstable. They're not dangerously unstable. Just keep an eye on everything here in case it pops off. Okay, there's the gold, there's the ender pearl. There's the other gold, it's going in, it seems to be working. And there we go, we've made it. And it is completely invisible, which is fairly frustrating. So this is the magic mirror here. <laughs> but we've done it, we've done a ritual, and we've got a magic mirror. We need a second one, obviously. Which does mean I need to collect some more of those, uh, those essences. Let's see if this works perfectly again. That would be nice. I like these, like, oh no, the ender pearl popped off. It's alright, I got you, I got you, dude. Gold's going in, ender pearl's going in. Oh yeah, here we go. Mirror number two. So now we got little two. Okay, so now we should be able to switch items between them. Um, let's test this magic mirror. Let's put one on down here, perhaps. Ah, you can see it, that's good. Now if I, can I link this to it? Ah, look, there we go. It's linked, and now it actually has a symbol. Now I'll put it, say, I don't know, there. And there we got a link between the two. Now I can think I can drop something into it, perhaps. Uh, whoop, and it should be over here. Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! Now what I can do is use a, um, a store seal here on this. Uh, I think that works. And then I can... It's just, this hasn't got a uh, thing there. And then we use Collect Seal. So I need a new Collect Seal. I think we've got a spare one that I got rid of before. So we want to get a Collect Seal, and we'll just test this out. It's only for a little test, this. But what we're going to do is put down here, and uh, leave it in that small area. And now if we drop something there, you should put it in the mirror and then it should pop out of the other side yeah there we go so that would work if we had uh, if we had the golems downstairs dropping things um, into a mirror and then I could put the mirror say um, somewhere in like a collect area we could just have a small collect collection area if I just put the collect seal say uh, well let's just move the mirror maybe Oh, this is a pretty fine place. Where's that collect seal? If we move that to where they're going to drop out, and we can make it smaller. One's too small, probably, but two by two. And that's a small little collection area. And then they'll pick it up and put it in, a, in this chest, hopefully. It has got a storage. Yeah, so if I take a... Mm, if I take the storage away from here... So I've got the storage now. Now, anything I drop in here, they should now put it in the chest? Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. 
So now we should need to put the magic mirror downstairs. Good job, Billy. I think I need to reset some of these guys so they're a little bit bogged down. Although Billy was doing that there, he was... Anyway. Um, right, so let's get this mirror. Um, I'm gonna pick it up safely. Pickaxe. Oh, just smash it. And um, it is linked to this one, I think, still. Yeah. Good. So we'll take this downstairs. I'm gonna get some bricks so I can fix the uh, the problems in that in that room. Stone bricks. Good job. He's getting me stuff. Thank you. Right. Let's go and fix that hole. Oh, we're still going. That's a good sign. And that, that's with the torches here. So actually they are still spawning stuff. So I guess there's still space to spawn, but it might be less likely to spawn creepers. Yeah, that may be a better way of doing it then. Because it's unlikely the creepers will spawn with the torches. They do take damage, but they do also heal back up. Um, pretty much faster than they take the damage, so that's... That's worth it. Oh, this is working fine. Okay, let's get a magic mirror. And we'll put it, uh, we'll put it here. And then we'll get a, uh, a store seal. Put it there. There we go. He's gonna start putting things through the mirror. Like a good boy. Yeah! It's working. All right, now hopefully these things will now be in the chest. So let's just, to test that, I guess we'll just drop these, uh, these seals back and then they should be back in the chest in a minute. All right, now stuff should be dropping out of this mirror and then getting picked up and put put in that chest. Uh, let's see if the collection seals have done that. Yes, so the control seals collect are back in the chest. So it's a working system. I haven't seen anything come through yet, though. I want to see it happen. I wonder if it won't spawn because um, because I'm not down there. Why don't we put a brain down there? All right, Brainy, we're gonna have to move you for a minute. I think you uh, you count as a player, so let's just see if um, if by putting a brain down there it keeps spawning stuff. And they won't they won't collect XP though because they have to be deaf to collect XP. And that does mean that you won't be able to use the claw hands or the or the shooty hands, which is a little bit annoying because it's very difficult to um, for these guys to kill stuff if they haven't got the weapons. Okay. Um, I think the only way to do it would be to make a system which damages the zombies down to like one HP, and then um, then they finish them off. But XP isn't really the massivest problem right now. Uh, maybe in the future if I really need XP, I can do that. Um, but at the moment, I'm just after the items. Just to see if, just so I kind of test really, see if it works. I'm interested. So now the brain's down there, hopefully we should see stuff popping through this mirror. This guy's obviously just, just dropped something off, which is cool. Ah, look, there we go. A belt just came through. So I think it only works when I'm close and the brain in the jar doesn't seem to help that. So I'll have to think of another way to do the spawning without using the vanilla spawner. Um, there's other spawners that will work, I expect. But the vanilla one, I think, only works if you're close, which is a bit frustrating. I should have had it in a, a closer area, really. Oh, a boot just came through, actually. Uh, maybe it is working somewhat. I'm not really sure. But anyway... Um, it's, it's a way to get stuff, and we're going to get lots of leather boots, I expect, and rotten flesh. Uh, but it's a work in progress, and it's a proof of concept, uh, which is kind of fun. Maybe I'll find a better use for it another time. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That was uh, kind of a golem mob grinder and a, and a magic mirror, which I, I think will be useful for many things. A magic mirror is great. Oh, there's another boot. It is working. Okay, good. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.